Okay, this video is going to show how to find the mineral percentage of igneous rocks. So, uh, this first question here, it states, it says, uh, Mary Sample of Granite has a composition that puts it at A on the chart and then find the percentages of quartz, plagioclase, and potassium feldspar. So, what that means by A and the way that I just drew this is, it is here. So, there's all different kinds of granite. There's a variety here. And this one is really the most felsic granite. So if it's at A, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a, like a, a line right down A here. Okay. That's where my paper will go. So the percentages, this is how we'll do it. So the first one we're going to do is quartz. So quartz is right there. We want to figure out how thick that is. It doesn't have too much quartz in it. It has that much. We could find out, you know, pretty close by going like this. Put a piece of scrap paper up along there and mark the thickness of this area, of course, from here to here, okay? And then I want to move it down along this scale, and I'm going to go to the nearest five, usually the nearest five percentage. It's usually close enough. Um, so, and then that's uh, that's 20%. So, for quartz, it is 20% uh, quartz. And the next one, we're going to do plagioclase feldspar. So, plagioclase is this bit here. It's also going to be a small letter percentage at this point right there. And we're going to mark it like there. I'm going to mark it right there. And that's going to be, if I move it down there, that's right about, each one of these is five. So, that's going to be about 10% plagioclase feldspar. 10%. And potassium feldspar, if you look, this is a big uh, area here. So, it's going to be mostly potassium feldspar. This would be a very pink uh, sort of orangey pink colored granite. So I'm going to go like this, put this along there. I'm going to mark the top. And, you know, doing this very carefully. It's not super exact when it comes to rocks like this, but uh, we want to get it as close as we can with, with what we have. And then I put it down here, and I realize, well, that's 50. That's 55. So that's 60%. Okay. That's 60% pot potassium feldspar. Now, this doesn't add up to 100 because I didn't include some of the smaller minerals they have at the bottom, biotite and amphibol. So. But that's basically how you do it. Okay, let's do another one. We'll, we'll do one um, example. Is, let's say I have a granite that places at a B. So, I wanna, one thing I want to point out is granite as a rock, uh, it can kind of vary in its mineral composition or how much of each, the percentage of each. So, for instance, if you have a, like A where you have a lot of potassium feldspar, it may look kind of like this. Okay, so this granite itself, and hopefully this color will come through, uh, has a lot of the potassium feldspar that's going to this pink orange, pink orange color. Um, as opposed to, and that's going to be more on the felsic side, on this side of the chart. You go closer to this way, you notice there's very little potassium feldspar, but you have a lot of quartz and plagioclase feldspar, which is going to be, uh, you know, sort of white and gray. And this is a good example of that, uh, where you don't really see any of the pink at all. So this also granite, it's just a sort of a uh, bit of a different mix of minerals. So that's what I mean by that. So this one here, this... Uh, rock at B is going to look a lot more like this one because it doesn't have a lot of that uh, potassium feldspar. So, the way we would do that is we would put um, uh, we'll put a line straight down at B like this so we'll be able to follow this line and I'll go like I'll try to get that as straight as I can I'll draw it on there so I can, my paper always goes there okay, and let's say I have some the questions written out here and it's puts it at B. Let's say the plagioclase feldspar. What percentage of plagioclase feldspar would it be? Well, plagioclase feldspar is right here. So I put my scrap paper up to it like this, and then I mark where it touches there and there, and then I move it over to the percent area here. And again, they go by 525, so it's going to be 35 percent plagioclase feldspar. 35 percent. Uh, Let's do pyroxene. Okay, so B, let's go down pyroxene. Look, pyroxene is over here on the chart. So basically, there's no pyroxene in this type of granite, and that's true. So the pyroxene would actually be zero, zero percent. And I will do one more, and I'll just do quartz just as an example. So what we're going to do is quartz is right here. Put my scrap paper up there. I mark from there to there. And then I move it down here, 
and that's right about 30 percent so in this case 30 per 30 percent and I didn't do the rest so that only has been 65 percent but this is just an example but that is how you do it um, and it's pretty cool how this how this chart works